Hey everyone, we got a wild cruise news story today. Have you ever just decided that you wanted to leave the world behind and go on a cruise? Forget about everyone else, forget about friends, family, pets, whatever, and just roll on out to Miami? Well, that happened and we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time here, if you like this video, we would really appreciate you liking and subscribing to our channel. We put out a brand new cruise video every day. We're just trying to give you the best information possible about cruising so that you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. So we usually don't cover anything sad or negative here. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't like talking about sad things in cruising, people going overboard and those type of things. Just not my cup of tea. However, a wild story I am in for, especially when I can confirm and figure out that everyone is definitely okay. So we have a wild cruise news story here today. I'm gonna pull this up so that I have it in front of me. It is a crazy one. So a West Houston uh, mother who lives in a luxury high rise apartment decided on April 4th that she was going to get a little get up and go and fly to Miami and head on down on a cruise to Puerto Rico. Sounds amazing. I'm going to Puerto Rico in just a few weeks on the MSC seashore. So I get it. I get the feeling. However, one small uh, little problem there. She has two children. They are eight and six. She has an eight year old son and a six year old daughter. She told them, hey, cool story, kids. I'm going on a cruise. Peace. And she rolled out. That is not great parenting, for sure. Uh, eight and six is very young and they're not able to care for themselves. So uh, some of her neighbors saw her with her luggage leaving uh, and then they decided to call the sheriff's office and have them do a welfare check because they did not see her take the kids. So the uh, police went there, they talked to the children and they said, hey, where's your mom? And they said, uh, she went on a cruise, there was a webcam and a phone there that she was using to check in and communicate with them there was food and stuff but the apartment was in complete disarray there's trash everywhere leftover food everywhere um just a crazy crazy story so they took obviously they took the kids to child protective services which is absolutely the right thing to do and then uh the aunt took the children so the children are totally fine they said the kids were in good shape no issues uh it was a few days that they were by themselves however this is a really crazy story because what if somebody broke in what if some one of these neighbors had harmful intent and they saw the mother leave there are so many awful things kids could have left and anything crazy could have happened so this is a crazy 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 story um Obviously, the kids are okay, which is the positive thing. The mom came home. She lied about her identity, but then they got her. She did get back uh, Wednesday night, this past Wednesday, just a few days ago. Uh, she has been uh, spoken to, and I'm sure charges and different things will follow. We will follow up on the story as we get more information, but this is a wild one. Have you ever heard anything like this? Have you ever talked to anybody who's, uh, who's done something like this? I certainly know people have left their kids at home, but they are obviously much older kids, uh, late teens and the such, especially if you have an older teen and maybe you have a young kid, but you have, you know, one of them is responsible enough and somebody's checking in on whole different thing of events there but so let's talk about it how old do you think your kids should be before you leave them home before you peace out and go on a cruise um quick answer it's not eight and six uh so uh let me know in the comments below i just wanted to jump on and talk about this because i thought it was absolutely insane that someone would do this we'll have way more cruise news on sunday to talk about there are a few other quick cruise news stories today that we'll talk about one is msc world america has floated out which is a fantastic milestone for that amazing beautiful ship that will be sailing next april out of miami at the brand new msc terminal which is super exciting and also the msc world asia which is the next ship in the world class, just got the steel cut on it. And that ship is going to be coming out in a few years, obviously sailing 
in the far east out of, I believe, Shanghai originally, initially is going to be the home port for that ship. So that's super exciting. Upcoming uh, cruise news for the weekend, we're going to talk about Key West limiting some passengers and a bunch of other really great stories. But I thought this was an interesting one to take you into the weekend. Let me know your thoughts below. And we hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Happy Friday, everyone, and happy cruising. See you tomorrow. Bye.